So two cards are drawn at random from an ordinary deck of 52 cards with replacement. We are putting the card back. Find the probability that the first card is the Ace of Spades and the second card is the Queen of Hearts. So the probability, we got Ace of Spades and the Queen of Hearts. Now because we are putting the card back, this is with replacement, these are independent events. This will be the probability of getting the Ace of Spades multiplied by the probability of getting the Queen of Hearts. That's what independence means. Uh, in this case right here, uh, there is only one Ace of Spades out of those 52 cards. Uh, there is only the one Queen of Hearts out of the 52 cards. And again, because we put the card back, we're right back up to 52 cards here. Uh, 1 times 1 is just going to be 1, and 52 times 52 is 2704. So there's only a 1 out of 2704 probability that, that you're going to get the Ace of Spades first and then the Queen of Hearts. How about 1 is a spade and 1 is a diamond? Okay, 1 and, we're going to be multiplying here. So we're looking for the probably that we've got a spade and a diamond. Okay, uh, now, uh, sorry, you should think about it, I guess the first card is a spade and the second card is a diamond. So now these are independent events uh, because we're putting that card back. So the probability of getting a spade multiplied by the probability of getting a diamond. Now, you could think of this as 13 out of 52. Uh, but the truth, well, yeah, we could write that down. 13 out of 52 for spades, 13 out of 52 for diamonds, because we put that card back, we're right back up to where we're supposed to be. Uh, this is going to be one quarter multiplied by one quarter. So the truth is it's one sixteenth. One sixteenth is the probability that we're going to get a spade and a diamond. Okay? Now, that is, however, and I hope people notice this, I'm not quite done, in, this is assuming that it's in that order, okay? However, there are two different ways this could occur. This could be spade and diamond, or it could be diamond and spade. Now, because they're independent, that's not gonna change the, that's not gonna change the result here, the actual probability. So, I'm gonna multiply this by two at the end. So multiply by two, multiply by two. Ah, I can't fit that in there. Multiply by 2, and so this is going to become 2 sixteenths or 1 eighth. And that's the probability that you get a spade, that one is a spade and the other one is a, is a diamond. Because remember, order is not important, so there's two different ways this could occur. Both cards are spades. Okay, so the probability that you get a spade and a spade. Okay, now in this case, I I don't really have to worry about order. I mean, this is the same event regardless. Uh, so I'm just going to write this down as the probability of getting a spade times the probability of getting a spade. Uh, this is going to be one quarter times one quarter, and this will end up being just one sixteenth. See, the thing is, this result looks no different than the other res uh, than it would be if you flipped it around here. Over here. We had to multiply by two because if you change the order, you do change the look of the event. It, the probability ended up being the same, so I just had to multiply by two. Over here though, when you switch the order, it, there's, there is no difference. There's nothing unique about that. So this is all that we need to do to get the probability that both cards are spades. Now both cards are spades or both cards are diamonds. So this is the probability of getting a spade and a spade or a diamond and a diamond. Now you can't get spade diamonds or diamond spades. And so what we're seeing here is that uh, these guys here uh, don't, don't overlap, okay? Um, so we've got mutually exclusive events here. So this is going to be the probability of spade and spade plus the probability of diamond and diamond. And we don't have to worry about subtracting when you get spade and spade and diamond and diamond because that can't happen. So this is going to be the probability of spade times the probability of spade plus the probability of diamond times the probability of diamond because these are mutually, ex uh, sorry, independent events. So one quarter times one quarter 
or one quarter times one quarter, one sixteenth plus one sixteenth or two sixteenths, which finally reduces down to one eighth. That's the probability that both cards are spades or both cards are diamonds.